Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for April the 2nd, 2021. I'm Mom. Hope you all had a good time yesterday with all that crazy fun stuff that came out. If you didn't get a chance to enjoy the artisanal audio, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, down on New Rom and ESD and Kronos, um, all the officers were playing their accordions and singing Klingon opera. And they came out with a message about the upcoming game, State Your Starship, which was freaking brilliant. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do... Oh, it's a joke. Mm -hmm. I was so bummed. Good jokes yesterday. Unless, of course, you're Volkswagen. Apparently that one did not go over well. That's kind of cute, but... But, you know, things happen, and we all look at the date and go, oh, April 1st, is this legit or joke? Legit or joke? Google Translate had Klingon for a while on April Fool's Day, and enough people enjoyed it that other places now have Google Translate, well, the equivalent of Google Translate to Klingon. So yay on them. Clearly we're still Edless. I'm hoping that changes, but if anybody talks to Ed, please let him know we miss him and he can get in touch with us on Facebook or something else. If, if he doesn't have internet, you know, maybe a friend has, and we just worry about him. All right, let's see what we got for endeavors today. If we don't have anything too bad, we may do a mission instead. I've got Polaron damage. I've got Undine's ships and defeat her Didn't we have her yesterday? I know we had her yesterday. But if we're going to do Polaron damage, that does mean we need to go grab Kethja. I was going to do a mission, then I remembered it's Friday, and it means I'm going to be driving all afternoon and evening. So I won't. I will get to Chicago, I'll eat dinner, and then I'll have to go play a game, and, you know, the dogs just want me to visit. So I'll get this done today. I have eight hours before we get back to the new missions, or the old missions. We did Synthwave last night, and uh, One Night in Bozeman. We didn't do the rockets yesterday. I mean, I did the rockets yesterday, but we didn't do the rockets yesterday. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we have garbage. Let's switch that out really quick. Let's make sure the team's got some toys. Oh, we definitely have got to get some toys, dear. So what's Lita wearing? All right, we'll grab Lita's because I don't think we're going to take Lita on this team. Lita, 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 Lita. Where are you, Lita? There you are. Okay. Exo, Matama, Ramtar. Okay, we're good to go. But, just in case, one last thing. Now I have to save up for the D7. I haven't decided on what I'm doing with the package, but I did pick up the Mud's Market Pack. I miss the artisanal audio. It was so good. Oh, I don't have any. Well, oh, that's a problem. Let's see if we can pick up that mission. Yeah, we gotta get this guy through a few more things here so I can pick up the last remaining goodies from the Gem Hadar pack. And unfortunately, we're still rank 3 in everything and not rank 4. The development's getting closer. Oh, that is something I can run at lunch. Alright, so we're going to go do the Undine ships in the battle zone. So that means we need to get up to ship and head on over to Dyson Sphere. I was really hoping, though, they'd give us some off-the-wall endeavors yesterday, like destroy creatures with psionic damage and, you know, just weird stuff. But that didn't happen. One minute cooldown, let's see. Yeah, you have to wonder why I don't just save everything <clears throat> over again. 
Okay, I don't have it. Interesting. No one says I do have that. Okay, let's see. There it is. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not quite as good as getting right to the gateway, but it's close enough. So we're back to having a few cold days here. The uh, temperature outside must be 30-ish because I was hauling all my luggage out to the car this morning. My luggage. <laughs> my bag out to the car this morning. And there's frost on everything. With any luck, the car will warm up enough where I don't have to scrape it. Oh, darn it! No luck here. Okay, who else has got Polarons? Yeah, I've got to finish them up. Or who can we throw some Polarons onto? Gethva is usually very accommodating. Oh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and ready this one up. Come on, guys. Not quite sure why I have that up front, but... All right, we'll try this one then. So I'm having an issue this morning. I want to do a uh, load on a file. And I did my forward slash bind load file, and it wouldn't let me enter anything. Let's see if it'll do it here. Yeah, I get to that point, and it's not letting me do anything. I'm going to grab my notepad really quick. Okay, it'll let me do that. I can do that one for the next time around. It's just very bizarre. I can normally enter things manually, but it wasn't letting me do that. And we'll go there. I mean, I'm here, might as well do it, right? Right. of space bagels. We did that yesterday. Alright, 50,000 Polaron damage and 10 Undine ships. Shouldn't be an issue. Doesn't look like much has been done here. Herc attendants, though. Who do we want to kill Herc attendants? 
Well, this would work out okay. If you didn't join us last night, we wound up doing um, Borg Disconnected with kind of a pug group, but not really, but people who don't always get to join us, Melly, Marty, and Wolfie, and a few others. It was just a lot of fun. It went amazingly well. I mean, it's one thing when you've got the whole team together and you guys have worked together, but for a group that hasn't, I think we did fabulously well last night. Oops. Guys, you gotta finish the weapons. Well, apparently somebody doesn't want me to click on that, so I will just leave this one. Since I'm here to actually finish something, not to... Ah, he just wants to spawn enemies. I'll just go someplace else then. Because after all, none of us have gotten mobs either. <laughs> hey, good morning, little life cat. How are you doing today? I enjoyed your show last night. I love your artwork and all the animations you've got. Super clever. I hope you enjoyed the artisanal audio. I wish they would do that more often. I wish they would make that a clicky and we could have it whenever we wanted it. It is amusing. Well, see, that's why it needs to be a clicky. Which it is. I mean, if you don't like it, obviously you can turn it off. But for those of us who are having a good chuckle over it, we're enjoying it. The option to just go click, it's on. Put it on the key binds or something. And then we can be stupid at our leisure. But I, mean, I don't get home from work until you know five at night and eat dinner. And by the time it's done, I can only enjoy it for like three hours. And I really would like to have it for a little bit more than that. All right, and that's our 10 there. Let's see if we've got home queued up. Nope, not that one. That would be good. Yeah, when we're done with the show, I enjoy listening to other people as I'm getting my real-life stuff done in the evenings. Yep, 
Yeah, I know. I know. We did exactly this tune, doing exactly this yesterday, but that's life. Good morning, Pi. How are you doing today, dear? We'll need to find their central computer. So I got up this morning, flipped on Rift Tracks on my phone, which I hadn't watched for a couple of days because they were doing a horror movie the other day. Really a grisly horror movie, and that's just not my thing. So I turned it off, switched to uh, MST3K the other day. Thought I'll give Rift Tracks a shot today, see how it's doing. It was the same movie. It was just like, oh, come on, I didn't like that one yesterday. So coming back and doing this, the same character, doing the same thing two days in a row, it's deja vu all over again. I was going to ask how you got the sniffles. I have obviously not had a cold for a year and a half now because I haven't seen a human being that I'm not a member of a family with. I suspect when I get back to real life, I'm going to have a heck of a cold. That won't go away because my immune system hasn't been challenged for a while. Oh goodness, I haven't even looked. The last job I was at a couple of months ago was still doing flu shots as a uh, company perk. They had a company come in and give everybody who wanted one flu shots. So that's always nice. Made it a little bit easier. I guess that would explain it. Let's wait here for just a moment. Yeah, I, I don't have decent equipment on. That really explains why I'm getting a little more damage than I had anticipated. Oops. Curious Pi, is it an autoimmune disease? Y yeah, but a skin disease can be triggered by an autoimmune issue. Just like lupus is an autoimmune thing, but it can manifest itself as skin issues, joint issues, um, all kinds of different things. Connective tissues. Are you at work, by the way? No, hold on, you said you're off today, right? I'm in Discord Pi if you want to jump in. If you're in the game and you feel like it. No worries if you don't. Yeah.
15 to go here. There we go. Got my 120. I'll just run down this hallway here and hide a bit. And I think we'll jump over to the other account and see what they've got to do today. Hey, it worked! Yay! So I've had no end of problems with trying to mail myself stuff. I've been talking about that for a while. <clears throat> Turns out I had myself on ignore on both accounts. Which is super embarrassing. I don't know how I ignored myself, but I did. new music I'm wondering is this new music that would be cool all right so we have d1 arthropods defeat Terrence on the ground and destroy Terrence ships hmm well Terrence on the ground super easy we can take uh, um, possibility of communication or whatever that one was the illusion of communication Terran ships obviously battle zone D1 arthropods is the ground. Unfortunately, we can't tie any of these together. Yes, Italia, I was just saying that to Lowlife Cat. I would like to have artisanal audio be a toggle or set it up in the keybind so you can have the stupid wee woos whenever you want them. One of the joys of getting older is that you're more likely to get something called tinnitus, which is ringing in your ears. And generally, once you've got it, it's not going away, so you have to train yourself to ignore this sound in your ears. Then every now and then it does go away, and there's this weird... There's something missing in my brain. All right. Terrans, Terran ships, and D1 arthropods. Let's see who wants to do that. Gorney's got way too much to lithium. The Academy, someplace. Battle Zone. None of those can help out. But we'll take Battle Mom and head off to Nimbus. I think she can do Nimbus. But I still like the date my starship. I I want that. I want a lot of the things they put out for the jokes. wasn't on enough yesterday to really enjoy it, but yeah, they are so much better. Excuse me one sec, it's really cold in here, I'll be right back.
My apologies. We've had nice afternoons in the 70s, so I took down all the heavy thermal curtains. And this morning it's in the 30s and I'm paying for it. So, time to get out the nice warm bathrobe on top of the sweater, on top of the jacket. It's April 2nd, and it's 30-something outside. <laughs> and we've had good blizzards in April, so that's not that unusual. But, you know, it was teasing us with lovely weather last week. And nice afternoons, so you keep forgetting that it's garbage some of the time. Oh, goodness, I really need to go get some more outfits here. Alrighty, let's go kill some arthropods. There's only a few. So if I was being a really good person, I'd go kill him over here. Uh, low life cat, in that case, go lie down so you can at least pass out in a reclining position. You said you were tired. Go to sleep. Well, I'm not on tonight. It's my driving night. But if you're on, I'll try and watch you. Or at least listen to while I'm driving. And have a great weekend. Well, I timed that wrong. Um, usually from 4 to 8 p.m. My boss has been bored lately, so when he leaves, he's like, yeah, just go home. So it might be as early as 3.30. Eastern, yes. I have a tendency to listen to horrible Reddit stories while I'm driving, so it's much, much nicer to listen to things on Twitch. Feels like it's real human beings. Citalia, crystalline catastrophe. The uh, crystal shards are considered destructible torpedoes. You might have to run it twice if you've got a really good team. They go through them super quick by taking out the uh, crystalline entity itself. But you go in there and just target out all the shards. Or Romulan patrol. Or for that matter, uh, what was the one we did last night? The Borg disconnected. Let's also count, uh, what are they? Undine. Yeah, there's a lot of good options. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know Reddit isn't real human beings. Alright, can we do Illusion of Communication on this tune? Nope, not on this tune. Uh, Korea system is Romulan, so yes, that would work.
So it's Romulan's Undine, Crystal Shards. Anything else? I'm off. Okay, MOTD? Message of the day? Yes, it's from yesterday. Hold it. Yeah, it's from yesterday. Hey, you should be happy I got... Not only did I get that one done on time, I got the new intro for this done ahead of time because I saved all the files from last year. So, you know, two out of three, I'm doing pretty darn good. Tell Pi. Pi's got the day off. He can change that. Let's see if we've got illusion of communication here. No. Okay, Gornalicious, it's on you. There we go. Unfortunately, on this account, I can't change it because I don't have any rank. So I'll switch back after this. Research facility is all. Your assistance is appreciated. I have recovered. My injuries are not yeah. my threat. Well, I was able to take readings of you. There was a... Actually, um... Don't worry about a pie. In this account, I don't really need to get promoted. I'll just switch back to the other account. Well, I don't think so. Do not shoot at me. <laughs> Explosion! They are nice! Some of the Reptoys are really good. On the other hand, there's the Romulan flamethrower that goes pew, 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 pew. It's unimpressive. Back in the day, when I was a noob, which means back when the game was new too, I relied a lot on my mines, and I haven't used them for a while. I enjoyed them mostly because you could, you know, strategize where to drop them to get who while you're doing something else. And I like that aspect. How many have I got? I got 15. Five more to go. So then do we want to go off to the Terran Battle Zone or do Aftermath?
I'm not good at space Barbie. I'm not good at in real life Barbie either. Alright, I got my 20. I found an outfit I like on my tunes that's good. They can stay that way. They can wash them every now and then. We'll get them off to the dry cleaners. But that is it. Where am I? I'm in the sphere. I don't want to be in the sphere. So, of course, every now and then I run into the... How did people do that? That's so clever. And it's just like, boom, right over me. I have no idea how to do it. That said, what I do want to figure out how to do is make one of the captain's chairs that uh, we were chatting about last night. I think it was on Discord. I want to say... Da, 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 it was in Data's gallery. Nope, that was something else. Pi, do you remember where that awesome chair was from last night? Apparently, there's an inflatable captain's chair? Okay. That's so nerdy, we almost need to do that. <laughs> yeah, lightning builds are fun. I think it was Mr. Scotty was the name of... Or Mr. Scott was the uh, account that was doing it. It was DT. Okay. I like the inflatable chair. Somebody would walk off with it, of course, if we leave it there. You have to deflate it every night. Alright, what have we got here? Ah, uh, well... Yeah, how many do I have to kill? 30. Ugh. I want to do Space Bagel for 30. No, I do not. Oh, well, there's somebody here. Maybe we can do Space Bagel then. No, Pi's gonna wear the bikini. Oh, floating about in the swimming pool with the inflatable banana. Oh no. God. First we had low life camp making all the puns yesterday. Now you're making puns. for worst ones.
you have to save up your going puns for Ryza. Some of your shooties. Let's see, it's April, Ryza's three months away? That means Vegas is four months away. Ouch, we are not ready for Vegas, folks. Twenty-six, four to go. Oh goodness. You got a lot done while we were doing that. you say that, Satalia? Because um, I joined this fleet at Ryza because Ver was out there dancing and people would come Device out to dance adapted. and he'd start, you know, trying to get people into the fleet down. and sent me an invitation. And that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So yes, Pi, tell us your story. I try and kill four more. Three more. Two more. I did not force you into SSG, did I? Did I really? Tell everyone how I forced you into it, because I honestly don't remember. Okay, I got all of my endeavors done. <coughs> it, it is his fleet now, Satalia. This is an old, old fleet. Even Ver, who was a fleet admiral and still is a fleet admiral, when I joined, and that would be boy, six, seven years ago, um, got it from somebody else, so it just gets handed down from one person to the next to the next. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, that story. I see what you mean. Humor. Uh -huh. Oh, no, it's not my fleet. I want to say... I don't know who the original five were, but after that, uh, the next group picked it up from them as they just, you know, stopped playing or weren't active in the fleet anymore. And so that second generation passed it on to Verse, Cybrox, 
That's why I'm trying to think who else was a fleet admiral back then. Maybe even Cybrox wasn't. But there were two or three fleet admirals. Nova Scotia was one. One of the original guys. And then Ver kind of stopped playing. Though he's in every now and then. And he still runs our current website. And since then I got promoted up to fleet admiral. We got Beardy and Ed. And then Pi and... DT. And now Beardy's gone, so it's kind of my fleet now. I mean, I'm one of the five fleet admirals here. One of the four active fleet admirals. But Pi, DT, and Ed are the other three really active ones. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to clean the roster. I haven't seen Psy in the fleet for a long time. And it's really funny because his girlfriend lives about a mile from where my husband lives. So it's not like we don't see each other, it's just we don't see each other in game. So what am I doing this? I could be doing something else. But not a lot of something else. Does anybody want to join me to do one of your patrols? You know, the funny thing about being a uh, fleet admiral here is it really suits my personality in that I can be really focused. I was heavily into what I did at work for years and years and years and years and years. And then I changed to a different position. And the division folded and all of a sudden I wasn't doing it. And it's just like, I don't have to do that anymore. And similar with martial arts, I've done it for almost 20 years. Which is kind of a scary thought. And um, due to COVID, I haven't been able to go to practice. And without practicing, without teaching every day, Watch out. I realized that you know, the enjoyment factor was a lot less than I thought it was. Though I still love training. I don't think I ever want to go back to teaching. The absolute grind of doing the same thing every day, over and over and over, just wears on you. In the case of the game, grinding is fun. And you realize the planet killers are going to go in just a second here. I suppose I'm not going to run a patrol, but I think there's enough to lithium here to justify it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. 
For those of you not in chat, Satalia says, So yesterday I announced a new series, Star Trek Oberth. The plot was an Oberth crew and the villain was Kel, who kept sending them further and further into the future. <laughs> if I wasn't still busy writing Captain Smarty Pants, I'd write that story. Maybe I'll grab my laptop and write this weekend. Yeah, but the thing with the Kel villain is it's specific to the Oberth. The destruction of the Oberth. Shooting at me. Oh, seriously? Do this, do that, do this, do that. The date my starships, Italia? If that's what you're talking about, I want that. I was so hoping it wasn't a joke. Oh, the Obers? Oh, I'm gonna look at that one. Hard to do it and play the game at the same time. Okay, what did the Packwood say to the Pharaoh Museum? <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> very funny. And very seasonal, too. Okay, Pyle, we'll go take a look at this as soon as we're done killing these bases. goes up there. While they're flying, I'll go look at that one. I love it. We want our old birth. And this one hasn't even started, and we've got three minutes. This could be interesting. Alright, Cygnus in-game is asking, anyone remember if the Andorian Chimera pilot escort had a fleet version? It's got to be another thingy they've got for us. Nope. Oh, well, that was easy. And I think that's probably the end of my day here, but nice way to end it. But we will depart this Vale of Tears here. Alright everyone, on behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium, I want to thank everyone who joined us today. Pi, do you want to have us raid somebody? I don't know if anyone's out there yet this morning. In any case, I'm going to head off to work. Uh, no shows this weekend. Definitely not on Sunday, just because I'm coming home late. Uh, but I'll see you all in-game, I'm sure. And we will be back Monday morning. Cross fingers that Ed will be back with us by Monday. Please, please, please. And if anybody gets in touch with him, let him know we're thinking about him. If you do the Easter thing, have a great Easter. If you don't do the Easter thing, have a great day anyway. Hopefully the weather will be with us. Be safe, be healthy, take care of each other. And we will see you as soon as Spy sets up a raid. Bye. Set up the raid. <laughs> what? We don't have to raid somebody. We can just say the heck with it and leave.
the heck with it. Okay, folks, on behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium and Mom and Pie, thanks for joining us today. Be healthy, be happy, be safe, love each other, and we'll talk to you Monday. Bye-bye.